Hey guys, it's Pocky Trap and welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and my figure collection at Pocky Trap, same spelling as my YouTube channel. So let's get into this video quick. I'm actually pretty excited to open this figure because not because I think this figure is a great figure, but because my friend dragged this figure so hard, like, Oh my god, <laughs> this is another figure art zero figure. It's the figure of Sukuna. Like, I was excited to get this figure and I like pre ordered it on Amazon Japan because I couldn't pre order anywhere else that was cheaper. So I pre ordered him on Amazon Japan, and if you know, you cannot make cancellations. So I was pissed because, like, I like ordered this figure and then another really great Sukuna figure was released. I'll like post a picture here. And like, I wanted to cancel this figure so bad, but I was like, no way, I can't cancel him. Let's just like deal with it. And then like, I found out from her mochi, she did the like same exact thing. She pre-ordered this motherfucker on Amazon Japan, so you can't cancel. And then like, she proceeded, like when she opened this figure, she proceeded to drag this dude. Like, she was like, oh my God. His hair looks like a wig. He is so slimy and gross. Ew. Paint job is dusty. Like his hair is a freaking mess. Rough stank. Hasn't bathed in days. Looks horrendous. Looks like fucking Bob Newby from The Sims when you first start. Looks like trash. Period. Drag him. And did I mention he was ugly? Very ugly. Drag him. <laughs> Mother never loved him. I drag him. <laughs> it's like she didn't go that far, but pretty much like in my brain, like I was like exaggerated because it was just so funny to me. <laughs> With that being said, let's get into this unboxing, guys. So I'm actually excited to open this figure just to see like how like crunchy this might be, but hopefully. It's not too bad, maybe like she just has really high expectations, which I'm not mad about because I have super high expectations when it comes to figures. I'm gonna hold it up here so you can see it because this figure is pretty small. Ugh. I won't hold it up because I can't cut while I hold it up. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let me like put the camera down so you can kind of see. I can't really see my face anymore, but it's fine. Okay. So, oh, he comes with an additional face. I knew that. I don't know why I act surprised now. <laughs> oh, he has tape. I should know that. Okay, so we're taking him out of the box. Yeah, his hair, his hairline is pretty jacked up. Like, you can't really see, but like his hairline is pretty messy, but like, I don't mind his face paint that bad. Like, oh, he has like some weird like paint errors right here. Like I'll put close-ups later, but like for the price that it costs, like it's not too bad for a figure. And I actually think the sculpt looks pretty good. Like, mine didn't come out slimy, so that's good. <laughs> He's not too grody. Actually, like, I'm I'm actually like, digging this a little bit. Sorry, Mochi. I'm, like, low-key digging it. Maybe because I'm a super huge fan of Sukuna, so, like, I'm giving him passes. But besides, like, the weird marks on his, his outfit, he actually looks pretty dope. I like the detail that they did on his bone seat. Like, for a cheap figure, I, I think this was, like, 4,000 yen maybe, maybe cheaper, which is probably like $35, maybe cheaper in USD. But like for that price, like he looks pretty dope. Like if he was more expensive, I would be pissed. But like, since he's pretty cheap and like the sculpt is really well done for the price that you pay, I'm gonna give him a pass. Like he looks pretty dope. And he comes with like an extra arm piece. Like if you want to put him, put his fingers up like this. Hey. Or you want to change his face out because with an extra face piece. I can't take. Oh my god, why? Because 
extra face piece. Oh yeah, I really like this for you guys. If you like Sukuna and you're on a budget and you just want a figure of him that's like pretty dope, like go, go pick up you a figure art, zero figure of Sukuna. Cause honestly, like for the price of it, you could let go like the small minor like painting errors they made. And his wig looking here. <laughs> All right, thanks guys for watching this video. I know it's pretty short, but like, I'm literally about to do like 100 videos today. So if you see this shirt over and over again, don't judge me, like don't drag me guys. I swear to God it's the same day and I'm not wearing the same shirt multiple times over again. Though I don't judge people who do. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching this video guys. I'm gonna post close-ups later so you can see like the paint errors and stuff. But overall, like I think this is a figure is like a solid like seven. Maybe solid six. All right. See you next time, guys. Bye.